Hi beautiful friends and welcome back to the day before. I'm so excited that the hero's journal made a mistake the other day. Let me tell you why. So I guess they sent out an email that they didn't mean to send and so they opened up sales of their spellbound pack like it was a limited time sale for this bundle and they opened it back up because of an email mistake i didn't even know about the spellbound bundle when it was happening but when i learned about it i was really excited because i've used uh, the hero's journal before but it was a different version so I went and I picked up the bundle. I am so excited. I really wanted to try this hero's journal in particular because it is red, a gorgeous red. It has a wand on the front and there is decoration up the side. And the last hero's journal I used was, let me look up because they have like different versions. So there are three different kinds of Hero's Journal, right? There's the Legend of Istoria, and that's kind of like, you know, I would say the storyline is kind of like, a, it's a fantasy land that I would akin to, what am I trying to think of? Lord of the Rings, okay? So if you're like a fan of uh, Lord of the Rings, like fairies and stuff like that, you know, going on adventures like that, like medieval times, things of that nature, that's what I would choose for, you know, people who are fans of Percy Jackson or Harry Potter. There is Astoria Magic Academy, which this is, which I'm so excited for. A magic school, right? That's the storyline, which I really love. Then we have Galaxy of Astoria. So that would be like fans of Star Wars or Star Trek, you know? Uh, you can be the hero of your own galactic adventure. They have different covers for each different type of adventure you're going on or whatnot. So, in the front of this one for the Magic Academy, there is the Istoria Magic Academy map. Isn't that cool? And, you know, this journal belongs to and whatnot. Once upon a time, you lived in the quietest corner of Istoria and had a deep love of magic. This is true. While others looked up and saw only the night sky, you swore ancient spells were written in the stars and spoken on the wind for all who would listen. The problem is, magic is widely considered by many to be a myth. Stories of broom flying, cauldron steering, and spell casting are simply that. Stories. But that won't stop someone like you from believing in a more magical life. You yearns to be trained in the ways of magic, the kind that can mystify the mundanity of the ordinary world. So here is uh, where you have your call to adventure. So, you know, I think you can just, like, plan your days in. Oh, here's refusal of the call, the cost of an action, and then finding your North Star. So, you also define your quest and accept the quest. So, there's, like, a little form you fill out. You're making a promise to yourself, okay? Okay. And then for the daily pages, there is like an explainer for how to use everything. And basically, you're going on this journey with yourself, okay? 
So let's say you want to write a book. So that's going to be your call to action. Let's say that you want to get healthier. This will be your call to action. And it will be like your focus of every day. And this book just kind of helps you, you know, lay things out in like a storyline. Because basically you're going to progress through your own story. And each of the daily pages are different. Where do you see you at right here? Right there in the corner. Well, let's see what you is doing the next day. So he's looking in a different direction. And as you can see, he also has like companions with him that you will see throughout the story. Here you are moving along, you know, to a different part of this little story. And so each day there is progress. I like this as well because like if you're not working on something for every single day, this is undated. So, you know, you can just like skip the day you're not working on your writing or you're not, you know, exercising or doing whatnot. Or if you're just simply just taking a day off and not doing anything, right? So, I really love this. But let's go ahead and get into what's in the rest of the box. And, you know, I think I'm going to incorporate this into videos. I don't want to make any promises like I usually do and then not follow through. But I am thinking about it. I'm thinking about doing a vlog a ween and trying out vlogging. I'm not sure. Um, each one comes with a bookmark. However, this Spellbound bundle, what is so awesome about it is it came with a bunch of bookmarks. So these are really cool as well, and I'll show you why. The bookmarks are really cool because they're also habit trackers for a full month where you can track several habits and how you're doing on them and sometimes you know that's kind of handy just to have separate where you're not you know having everything jumbled into one what also came in this bundle is a package of quest notes which i'm very interested in so let's open this up by the way, you guys, I do have a code, and I tried using it the other day. It still works to get 10% off on the Heroes Journal website, and I will link that down below. I'm not affiliated. I won't get any money for it, but you will save money. It's when I worked with them before. So, on each one, on the cover is the wand super cute and see that means it's a blank notebook i believe yeah it's blank but there's still cute little stuff in the corner sometimes like castle mice a colony of rodents who live in and around the academy oh that's cute so this blue one do you see how it has dots on the cover? That's because it's a dot grid notebook. Isn't that cool? And then this teal one has lines on the cover because it's a lined notebook. Oh, with cute little stuff inside. You guys, I really lucked out on this Spellbound bundle. It's exactly what I needed. I used uh, my other Heroes journal for a different project, and for this uh, Heroes journal, I think I'm going to use it for a book project. I'm not sure. Let's see. I am pretty sure, though, I'm going to be using it for a book project for October, November, and December, because the Heroes journals, if you do use them every day, it spans for about three months or 13 weeks. All right, and you also get a side quest deck, and this is called the self-care side quest deck. I have another side quest deck, and I'm not sure if they're all the same. So for the side quest deck, 
It says, greetings, hero. Inside this box, there are 52 side quests which call for the help of a hero like yourself. Any side quest is a worthwhile task which is sure to make you feel accomplished and grateful. Step number one, draw. Step number two, quest. Step number three, repeat. So, this one says, stretch for 10 minutes. Go on a walk around your neighborhood. Make progress toward decluttering a space in your home. Oh my goodness, I've been doing that. I've been doing a daily declutter challenge with Cass from Clutterbug. And it's really made a difference. Okay, so here is like cards with a different background. Practice an impression of a celebrity or character. Learn a new recipe and try to make it. Draw a fictional character. See, that's a different background too. Color for 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, I could do that right now. <laughs> but I love this package. And you know what, if you would like, you know, to see if you couldn't get like a package like this, like a package deal or something, and they don't have a bundle right now that you're interested in, what I do recommend is signing up for their emails. Because like around, let's say right after Thanksgiving during Black Friday, they're sure to be having sales and stuff like that. And don't forget, if you wanna try something, do the day before 10, I believe, for 10% off your order. And that way you can save money too. I will link their website down below and I will also put the coupon code down below for you. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and just start digging into all of this awesome stuff. But I'm sure to see you guys again soon. And y'all have a wonderful day today. Bye-bye.